What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Wright and this time we're doing something called barbecue reviews. There's a lot of amazing content out here in the world of barbecue. I've been scrambling across YouTube for quite a few years and stumbling across some of the best things in barbecue and other content. It was brought to my attention that Netflix came out with Chef's Table Barbecue and with me being a barbecue guy now, everybody wanted to tag me on Facebook and other social media platforms saying, hey, you should see this. Hey, this is awesome. Hey, you should take a look. So I decided to dive in and I made a commitment to go through every episode and give my own review on each episode so today we're going to review episode one of chef's tables barbecue in episode one they cover the very historic snow's barbecue in lexington texas it is basically the story of pitmaster tootsie timonis now i had seen her before there's a gentleman on youtube i can't remember his name who does something similar to a barbecue crawl um, from Texas and he features a lot of dives barbecue restaurants and things of that nature across Texas and it was real amazing um, what Netflix did was take something similar to that and just blast it out in full detail this first episode was very touching it told the complete story as thorough as they could of Tootsie and her life as a barbecue pit master and how it initially just started from her and her husband doing it and owning their own store and her rolling into Snow's Barbecue and to where she is today. I like this story for so many different reasons. It's common that people give a lot of recognition to those we have lost. I'm very happy to see that Netflix took the time out to go and see this group and the most definitely tell Tootsie's story at her age and give her her roses right now to where she can appreciate it. Tootsie went through a lot in her life and she used cooking as a coping mechanism and I identify with that because I myself use cooking for therapy and it worked out tremendously for me. She was surrounded by so many great people. She had a life of her own. She was married. I did not know that from watching the first YouTube series that I watched on her. She actually went through a lot with her husband. Her and her husband bought a restaurant called Meat Market and they were doing barbecue in there and she initially started off as a helper to her husband to try and support him and give him more time to rest when he was doing other things so she got her hands dirty in that process seasoning meat put meat on anything in her exact words anything to help him and give him just a small break in time this wasn't tootsie's ideal thing to do but she was in support of someone and in that it turned into something very special for her mainly because she became an icon throughout the entire process she's been barbecuing for over 50 years she works a full-time job as a janitor at a high school in texas and when she's done doing that she does pit master work on weekends now if there is anybody who i can super salute it is tootsie the other touching aspect of this story is Tootsie's life as a whole. Um, after losing her husband, she also lost one of her sons to brain cancer. And it was just her against, I wouldn't say her against the world, but going through that, she admitted that she had hard times. She had breakdowns. But a lot of us know that barbecuing is a family. And when you have things like that, that happen, family normally binds together in the strangest of ways. Again, coping mechanisms being cooking for myself. And it was the same for her. Now, in 2016, Snow's Barbecue was voted as the best barbecue in Texas. And that was a very unexpected thing for anyone there because, of course, as a lot of us do, we just do the work and we love to feed people and put great foods on people's plates. So the recognition that they got from that exploded their imprint and Tussie admitted she was a little nervous. Um, celebrity isn't for everybody. Some people just like to remain plain Jane. And I totally understand that because I've had points in my life where I just wanted to be a regular individual and not be bothered at times. But the fanfare comes with the job a lot of the times, even now where I am today. I'm not a super pro. I don't have a lot of trophies or anything, but people still come by because it's an experience and you get to see and meet and talk to someone who's doing something great with food. Now, I can only imagine if I was in her shoes, how overwhelming that would feel for the first couple of months, possibly even years when you have lines of people early in the morning coming to just eat barbecue. It's insane. The most popular places on earth that do very good barbecue. This is the norm. Franklin's, for instance. 
the Netflix team put together a very good episode encasing so much of Tootsie's life, showing her personality, talking about who she is and giving the very important details of her life. I hope the rest of the series is most definitely similar in context and concept to what they delivered here. And I know there's a lot more great things to come. This is just episode one. So in closing, episode one, Chef's Table, I give it nine out of ten. It tells a great story about Tootsie, Snow's Barbecue, the entire ensemble, the supporting cast. It's just an amazing story of good barbecue and how it brings a community of people together and people from all across the world go there. It's a great thing. I recommend everybody take some time out, pull this up in your Netflix catalog and give it a watch. This is me, Eddie Wright, doing Eddie Wright's reviews on Chef's Table Episode 1. Until next time, see you guys in a couple days for Episode 2 review. Thank you for tuning in.